Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So I was doing what it is I always do, which is minding my business. Um, when I got up yesterday morning, I was checking a few of my notifications and I saw that someone from YouTube by the name of LJ Mac 2369, that's E-L-J-A-Y-M-A-C 2369 had left me a comment up under um, that video that I posted late the other night of um, Russell Simmons about the situation that he has going on with his ex-wife and his daughters. So this LJ Mack person, who I believe was Martell, said, this video has no views. I bet you if you was talking about Martell, your views would be through the roof. Y'all claim y'all love Melody, but you can't even make a video without even mentioning Martell because you know it won't get no views. So there it was like four in the morning and he was on my channel bothered because folks love Mel and mad because folks don't feel the same way about his ashy ass. So I want to address his comment and I'm going to address it as if this LJ Mack person was Martell. So first of all, if you want love, go to your mom and get it. You know, the crazy drunk lady with the dry, crunchy, Millie Vanilli braids going around talking about some, what's wrong with my boy? Go ask her to love on your disturbed ass. Since she's the one that feels like ain't nothing wrong with you. Okay. I'm sure you know where to find her. She down there mopping floors for them people at the age of almost 60 because her do nothing ass son can't help take care of her like he could when he had access to his ex-wife's money. I guess your mama done fucked around and found out who the real lazy motherfucker was. But she should have known that shit when your ass decided to take off work. Okay? And instead of going to work, your motherfucking ass called off to help your people rob the ATM. Allegedly, okay? See, we the people see you for who you are. And you are just so many motherfucking things, Martell, with one of them things being a bitch ass nigga. What real man? is up at four in the morning worrying about how many views somebody got like take your ass to bed get some rest and go look for a fucking job because if you had a job outside of dressing up in suits on the show with your no real business having ass you wouldn't have the time or the energy to worry about what the fuck going on over here on my channel if you want to be out there doing clown shit i'm going to be over here laughing at your clown ass and making a bag from it in the process you so worried about folks loving mail when what you need to be worried about is your motherfucking baby mama driving around without y'all baby in a fucking car seat. You know, the one that you said was a good mother. It's been said that she has been ticketed about four times for not having the baby strapped in a car seat. It only take one time and his little ass can go through that fucking windshield if she has to make a certain stop. Like perhaps when she's on the ground while driving, focusing on comments instead of the fucking road, like we've seen her do several times on live, okay? You done drove her so fucking crazy that I'm starting to wonder if she had knocks in the car at all. Like, where was he? Was he in a trunk screaming for help? Like he was screaming the day he was stuck in that damn chair? Or was his little badass on top of the car like a fucking Christmas tree? But you open your mouth to call that girl a good mother. The good mother is the one that you took to court for custody. The only reason you ain't trying to get custody of Knox is because it's not lucrative for you to do so. Knox can't generate you no money. You've been trying, though, with your trifling ass. You know damn well don't nobody want to see the child you made with another bitch while you were married. But you willing, okay? You're willing to subject him to scrutiny just so you can see a payday with your struggling ass. Since your good Judy Destiny calls herself you know, a performer, maybe she can help you learn some of Michael Jackson moves, okay? So you can put on a few performances down in the subway. You know, dance, shake your cup, make a few coins. Because since Carlos has decided to keep you and the rest of your no real business having ass friends on the show with y'all lawsuit infected asses, the ratings are continuing to drop. And shout out to Anonymous T who keeps us updated with the ratings. That show then dropped another 63K last week from what I heard. While you over here on my channel worried about what the fuck I'm doing. Spend that time coming up with a plan to keep your lights on without a random bitch from Atlanta having to help you do that. Figure out where your next meals are going to come from so you won't have to eat the m m kids, bitch. You so pressed about folks loving on mail that has got your raisin in the sun head ass over here on my channel talking shit early in the morning. And since you want to talk, let's talk. How's that suit line coming? Did you get that 100K to start it up? Or has it been put on hold like your will to live after Mel dropped your last name, bitch? I know your ass cried from sunup to sundown. 
you monster feet, naked ankle, life choking t-shirt wearing ass bastard. You want to talk? Let's talk. How's your mama AA meetings going? Psych. Cause she ain't in no fucking AA. Cause baby, drunks can't fix the problem until they admit that they have one. And we all know how your mama like to pretend like ain't shit wrong. And since you want to talk about how many views I had, let's talk about how many views your illegitimate son had. Okay. You know, the son who's always looking disgruntled, like he just worked eight hours and had to walk all the way home in a fucking snow blizzard with no shoes on. The one who damn near knocked his own mama out into a motherfucking coma on live because he probably done seen his angry ass daddy do it. Yeah. That son, he didn't even get a hundred views. And the only time your ass get any views is when people want to see how many ways your ass going to tell a lie. Because that's pretty much all you do. Other than cheat, steal, stalk, pretend like you have a chef, sue people for custody of their kids for a check, go to business meetings knowing that your ass ain't got no business, file for bankruptcy, go through foreclosures, say things of that nature, accuse people of having 20-something things because your ass can't count past 20-something, misspell words, abuse women, and tank take off work to assist in ATM robberies and I can go on forever. And I was wondering why Knox likes Spider-Man so much. It's probably because he didn't saw your ass climb up trees and into Mel's windows many a nights looking for spare change down in her couch cushions. You fucking bum. While his mama stayed outside with her foot on the gas in case the cops came. And him in the back seat unsecured traveling like a grown ass man. Love and marriage Huntsville is about to come to an end, my boy, in my opinion. And when it's all said and done, you're going to be begging the content creators to talk about your ass, but you're going to be a non-motherfucker factor, bitch. You already want now. Okay. You are non-motherfucking factor now, but you're going to be an even bigger one after this season. Y'all, I know Martell got excited when Mel posted that invitation of her name changing ceremony. The invitation said, take me back. And Martell charted ass was hoping that she was asking him to take her back. When crocodiles twerk, bitch, Mel ain't never taking your ass back. Maybe the vet will take your ass back with your dog face ass. I'm sure you'll love that, though. I'm sure you'll love that. At least you'll have guaranteed meals throughout the day. I have no idea what people see in your disgusting ass. And since you want to bring your C-cup titty ass around my neck of the woods, calling yourself trolling me, the next time you come, how about you bring a copy of your baby mama's bachelor's degree, bitch? Because word has it that the only thing she knew about biology is the mixing of the chemicals from cosmetology school. It's been said that that whole I got a degree in biology ain't shit but a lie, just like the rest of the shit that done came up out her mouth. Okay. Now I know I saw her ass in a cap and gown while holding Paris and it couldn't have been her high school graduation because Paris wasn't even born then. So I went ahead and gave her the benefit of the doubt and just took it that AMU was just handing out degrees for fun that day because it wouldn't have been the first time. I mean, they gave your stupid ass one and you can't even spell. Then the nerve of you to tell Mel at that other reunion that Ariane got her degree from the same school as her lying ass bastard and even if she did she didn't get the same education as a male apparently they must have had a whole separate wing for the slow folks seeking degrees and since they didn't want to turn down the tuition they probably just let y'all slow ass to stay on the other end of the campus eating paint chips and glue while the other folks with sense were on the other end actually learning some shit i saw that your brother is about to make an appearance on you know the upcoming show the upcoming episode of the show and i thank you for that because the more the merrier. I'm going to talk about his ass too with his thick neck ass. Talking about some teach me some things or whatever the fuck he said. You done already taught him some things. You and his daddy. And them things is what landed his ass in prison. Okay? My thing is. How you talking about. You've always wanted to be a positive influence on your brother. When ain't shit you done been positive. Which is why I feel very fucking sorry for your son. Both of them, actually. Because you are the male figure that they have to rely on to show them the way. A nigga who cheats on his wife, disrespects women, lies, steals, scam. What the fuck can you teach anybody? Just the thought of somebody saying that your ass was a teacher at one point is baffling to me. You can't teach nobody nothing other than how to be a complete and utter fucking idiot. 
I'm done with your walnut head ass for now, okay? Stay the fuck up off my channel. You retarded ass heathen. Y'all, remember that everything that was said in this video is alleged and is my very own personal opinion, okay? Y'all take care and I'll chat with y'all in the next one.